Good evening. Youngstown City Council passed legislation that will help keep neighborhoods looking nice. 27 First News reporter Derek Lewis was at a meeting today where funding for the grass cutting program was approved. Wait, oh, wait. That's wrong. Wait, 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 wait. I never said that. Youngstown Council members were attacking and yelling at each other last week during a finance meeting. Ridiculous. As they talked about the details of keeping grass cut in the city, race was brought up when discussing which sections of the city would receive the service of the program. At Monday's meeting, it was a much different tone. I think that they understood that if we didn't get these answers, we weren't going to pass the legislation. That's the bottom line. Sixth Ward Councilwoman Janet Tarpley says she got the answers she was looking for last week. In a unanimous vote, council members approved funding for the program. I'm comfortable with the way things went today, the fact that we're going to move forward, the fact that my residents are going to get what they deserve. Beginning April 15th, the Youngstown Neighborhood Development Corporation will be responsible for cutting grass taller than six inches on both vacant and non-vacant lots in the city. During the next water bill cycle, residents will receive a notice about the new legislation. If someone from the corporation has to come cut your grass, the cost will then be added to your next water bill. We are not interested in being the grass cutters for everyone. Uh, that's why we have to charge people. That's why we also have to look at cheaper ways to do it. That money will go to the corporation's expenses, such as paying workers to do the job. It's going to be a huge project and a lot of work, but definitely looking forward to it. I think a lot of neighbors and residents throughout the city hopefully will be happy once we're able to get things rolling at full throttle. In Youngstown, Derek Lewis, WKBN 27 First News.